and the long tail tits are back. This is a family grouping I reckon. They usually come by maybe once a day. Normally in the evening time mind you. Lovely wee bird. And they are dreadfully difficult to video because as you can see they jump about all over the place and it's very difficult to zoom in on them. There are about five or six in this, this group. And they don't stay very long. Is that them away? No, they're still back again. <laughs> I don't know whether this is the same bird. And they, they sort of stick their tails in, in the in the faces of other of other birds. It's quite funny. And at, at night, if it's cold. They will all sleep in the same um, bird box, you know, cram in for heat. Smart. <laughs> they won't stay still, they're dreadful. Sometimes referred to as tit mice. The colour on the back of that boy. Oh, he's given me a few seconds there. That's a long time when you're videoing these boys. Nuss them away. Hit and run, so to speak. Oh, no. Back again. Must be hungry. And numbers of long tailed tits have actually risen because of people like me putting. Um, peanut feeders in the back garden. So, if you want long tailed tits in your garden, and they're beautiful little birds, they're comical, um, stick, a, stick a peanut feeder, one preferably that the squirrels can't get into. Stay in a wee while. You must be extra hungry. My arm's getting sore trying to trying to video this. It rarely happens. I'm amazed. Away. All gone. 